My name is Terry, and I'm here with Dr. Deason Dunnigan of Dunnigan Yates and Allison Plastic Surgery Center for a roundtable discussion on body contouring. Thank you, Dr. Dunnigan, for joining us. Terry, thank you. It's a pleasure. I've heard the term body contouring before, but can you explain exactly what that means? Body contouring really is a group of procedures that's designed to uh, create balance and harmony in the body, just like we combine a group of procedures to create balance and harmony in the face. It may include liposuction, it may include a tummy tuck, it may include a breast augmentation. There are a number of factors and our procedures that we perform in order to do our body contouring. Dr. Dunnigan, would you explain how the procedure is done? I think you've brought some before and after pictures to help illustrate the results we might expect. Terry, our first patient's in her mid-40s, and we treated her with an abdominoplasty, liposuction, and a breast augmentation. One of the major side benefits of this operation was that it has improved significantly her clothing fit. And I think that many of us lose our enthusiasm for dressing well when no nothing seems to fit any longer. This patient is now very happy with her clothing fit as well as her body appearance. Our next patient has undergone the mommy makeover. And this is just new terminology which describes multiple procedures that may be combined to give uh, any post-pregnancy individual an improvement in their body contour. So there would be some customizing of this operation for each individual depending on their uh, exact needs. This individual had an abdominoplasty with liposuction of the waist and a breast augmentation. She also tells me that uh, she wanted to be sure that we noted her age as being in the early 40s so that you can uh, understand that not everyone has to be in their 20s to have a very nice body contouring result. Our third patient uh, underwent an abdominoplasty with liposuction and her main concern was excessive skin and fat, particularly in the lower abdominal and lower torso region. These procedures that we've completed have obviously smoothed the abdominal region, tightened the skin, and improved the waistline definition. This patient underwent an abdominoplasty with liposuction and a breast augmentation as well. She now has very harmonious and balanced body contours and appears to be much younger than her actual age. This is clearly seen by carefully observing her before and after photographs to see the overall improvement and the overall tightening of the skin. This patient was interested in creating more of an hourglass figure with special attention to her abdomen. This result was obtained with liposuction alone using the LifeSculpt technique with Slim Lipo, which is a laser-assisted liposuction technique. This technology can be used alone or in conjunction with other surgical procedures to create a more sculptured body contour. This patient underwent a lower body lift, which is an abdominoplasty that continues around the entire body. It begins in the lower abdominal region and extends across the buttocks and onto the hips, and it allows us to tighten the skin. It also allows us to have access to the fatty tissue and remove this with a combination of surgery and liposuction. We try to listen to our patients and customize the operation to fit their goals and what their specific concerns are because these vary, we find, from one person to another. This patient had an arm lift, also known as a brachioplasty. Weight loss, the effects of gravity or just the passage of time can cause the skin over the arms to become loose, sag, and become unsightly to many women. The scar lines are hidden underneath the posterior aspect of the incision line along the arm, and this is not usually objectionable to most patients. This patient has undergone the laser-assisted slim lipo procedure for the abdomen, the waist, and the back. She's received a significant improvements, which is clearly demonstrated in her photographs. Wow, these patients look wonderful. And now I think we understand a little more about body contouring. Most people have two questions. How much does it cost? How long is the recovery period? You know, most uh, body contour procedures of recuperation is between a few days for liposuction only and a week or two for a tummy tuck. Uh, the lower body lift might require up to three weeks. Affordability is usually there for our patients. Uh, yes, the cost may be a few thousand or maybe even a few more thousand depending on the extent of the procedure, but uh, financing is available and we find that most of our patients can afford this pretty readily. Dr. Dunnigan, can you give us an idea of what we should look for when we're choosing a plastic surgeon? Sure, Terry. You know, I think there are four things that are very important. First of all, certification by the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Secondly, look for a physician who's credentialed to perform the same operation at the hospital. So if you're considering an augmentation, can your doctor perform it there? That means that he's been certified by his peers, the other surgeons that operate at that hospital. Thirdly, look for good photographs, perhaps before and afters on the procedure that you're looking for. 
that always gives you good information about the um, abilities and outcomes. And also, finally, did you enjoy the visit? Do you like the surgeon? Do you like the staff? Rapport is important. Thank you for this very interesting discussion about body contouring. Well, thank you. Thank you.